Fifty years ago, in London, there was, in a more civilized time, a law enforcement officer in charge of the drug squad in the home office, I believe, in London. And he knew the name of more or less every injecting drug user in London and regarded them as people who should not be put in jail or prison unless they did really bad things. This award is named after that man, Bing Spear. To present the Bing Spear Award, I've asked one of our board members and a former winner of the, uh, of, 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 of the Rich Dennis Award, the biggest award, former mayor of Vancouver, current senator from Canada, right, Larry Campbell, to come on up. I lost 20 seconds getting here, and I'm standing on the trap door. <laughs> this is always a worrisome proposition. I am honored to be here to present this award to LEAP. In 2002, law enforcement officers, led by Jack Cole, stepped forward and said, what is going on is wrong. They've given real-life views, real-life perspectives, and a real-life understanding of how bad these drug laws really are. The person accepting this award is Neil Franklin, who is a major. with the Maryland State, uh, State Police and the Baltimore Police, and he continues in a role within those organizations of moving forward. I want to just introduce Neil with this, and this is his quote. It pains me to know there is a solution for preventing tragedy and nothing is being done because of ignorance, stubbornness, unsubstantiated fear and greed. Ladies and gentlemen, Neil Franklin. Oh, oh. <laughs> taking these pictures, you're taking up my time, guys. <laughs> Damn trapdoor. And I got notes, so I, I, I'll try to stay on track here, which I hate to do, but I got to do it. Receiving this award is, is obviously a great honor, uh, being placed in the same category as other award recipients, like Senator Larry Campbell. Thank you, Larry. Ron Hampton, Chief Norm Stamper, Commissioner Patrick Murphy, other LEAP members, and the co-founders, Peter Chris and Jack Cole. Yeah, please give it up for those two, because if it weren't for those two, I wouldn't be standing here today. This is not why I do this work, um, but I recognize that it is a symbol that we're moving the ball in the right direction. This work I have been blessed to do, and I say the word blessed because it is truly an honor for me. This, this work has been given to me by God. That's what I believe, and that, that is my belief. It's not of my own. I'm always also supported by many other LEAP members. Please stand quickly. You're on my clock. LEAP members, speakers, staff, please, if you haven't had a chance to thank these people, Please thank them when you get a chance to do so. These people are not just dedicated to LEAP, they are dedicated completely to the movement. 
which means they're dedicated to each and every one of you as well. It's somewhat difficult receiving this award because I see myself as only a vessel, a vessel of the words that have been spread by those who have gone before me, like Jack Cole, Peter Christ, Norm Stamper, Deborah Peterson Small, yeah, Kurt Schmoke, Ethan Nadelman, Ira Glasser, and the late Chief Joseph McNamara. And there are many, many more. Some of you are in this room tonight, but I don't have time to mention all of you. Sorry about that. A couple more comments and I'm done. As I said, I deliver the words of others. During the opening plenary, Cory Booker was on screen, and he said this, if you want to go quickly, go alone. But if you want to go far, you go together. Folks, we have a very, very long way to go. And we must go together. This journey is not about drug policy reform only, OK? It's about many things. It's about social and racial justice. It's about human rights. It's about saving lives. It's not just about saving lives in the physical sense, because if you are oppressed, you are not thriving. And if you are not thriving, you are potentially experiencing a spiritual death, dead man walking. We've had some challenging discussions this week, <laughs> a lot. Some discussions. These discussions must continue, and they must improve. We must improve upon these discussions that we're having. We all have individual areas of interest, and we're very passionate about them. But again, if you want to go far and make serious change, we must go together. And let me wrap this up. Keep your minds open. Listen to your partners here in this room and of this conference and beyond, and compromise if and when needed. If we can't make it happen here, folks, we'll never make it happen on the other side, out there. Stay in your lanes. Stay in your lanes and assist your brothers and sisters as best as you can from your lane. My lane is police reform, family empowerment, and I'll get there eventually to the family re rebuilding part. Let me wrap this up. Now behind every wide-eyed man with lofty dreams is a woman. In my case, it's not only the woman behind me, <laughs> but I have one who's also pulling me. That's my mother, who is here with me tonight, Mom. <laughs> behind me, behind me is my darling bride of 32 years, Denise Franklin. And Denise is here to to support me as well also, who I love dearly with all of my heart. She is the love of my life, and I have put both of these women through living hell. And I'm not done yet, so thank you for hanging in there. You know what? When you, when you get roses, you give roses. Neil. <laughs> I love you, Neil. And just to clarify, that award was specifically, because we've given many awards to lead members, that award was for Neil Franklin personally and the amazing work he's done.